What's going on guys? My name is Ishan. You're probably busy, which is perfect because on this channel, we like to keep things short and sweet. No fluff, just quick and to the point. So in the next few minutes, we're going to be going over Asana's planned IPO on September 30th and what you need to know before then. And well, it's not really an IPO, but more on that later. So as always, if you enjoy these short and value packed videos, make sure to drop a quick sub and let's clock in. <laughs> So Asana is a team collaboration tool. Basically what their software does is it allows teams to track, organize, and manage their work. So as you can see, you can assign tasks, see where projects are in their completion, and you can create in a way these flowcharts to set the timeline for project completions. It's an all around great UI and the tool seems pretty cool. They offer a variety of solutions that can handle the needs of any team from project management to managing marketing campaigns, closing sales deals, and onboarding clients to their most popular solution, which is remote teams where teams can work together from anywhere in the world. Now, as we know in the current world of the pandemic where employers are having their employees work from home, well, Asana has benefited. Taking a look at the numbers they filed in their SEC request for a public listing, revenues grew 86% from 142.6 million for fiscal 2020 from 76.8 million in 2019. However, losses drastically increased as well, going from 50.9 million in 2019 to 118.6 million in fiscal 2020. Now, according to Asana, they say that their large losses reflect the significant investments they made to develop and commercialize their platform, serve their existing customers, and broaden their customer base. So basically, they spent money on marketing and trying to gain more customers so they would look good when they went public. Now, here's why I say that and why I believe that Asana's investors are really trying to just dump their shares out of this way too overvalued company. Stay with me because this is going to be super important. So Asana isn't going through a conventional IPO. In an IPO, companies have to hire banks to underwrite the IPO and they usually take a fat 3 to 7% of the money raised and the capital raised but in exchange basically it's guaranteed that all your shares will sell and you'll be able to raise all the money you need. Asana on the other hand similar to Slack and Spotify will be going public through a direct listing. And so in a direct listing, you don't need to go through those banks. So now previously in a direct listing, what happened was that companies only inside private investors would sell their shares in a direct listing and you weren't actually able to create new shares. Companies weren't able to create new shares to sell to the public to raise money. So basically what private investors would do is they would dump their shares, but no actual new shares were being created, which a company could sell to raise capital. But now thanks to an approval by the SEC, the NYSE can now allow direct listers to also create new shares and raise capital. This all sounds good, but however, through a direct listing, inside investors have no lockup period and can dump their shares whenever they want. So now here's why Asana begins to concern me. During their last round of funding, Asana was valued at 1.5 billion. However, on the secondary markets, they've been trading for around $5 billion according to a recent report from Bloomberg. Now a company only doing 150 million in yearly revenue valued at $5 billion seems insane to me. Especially especially Asana because of their massive competitors and the super crowded market they're in, which we'll discuss more later on. Another thing with a direct listing is that it's not a guarantee that all your shares will sell. So if Asana is losing so much money, why would they risk not getting enough money? Why wouldn't they just give the banks a 3-7% to fee and make sure they raise the money they need? Spotify was already a brand well known to the public, making it easier to sell to the retail and institutional community when they went public through a direct listing, but Asana isn't really a well-known company. I believe these are inside investors forcing Asana to take this path so that they can dump their shares during a time where all these sort of work from home companies, their stocks have been performing well, and I believe they're trying to take advantage of this and just dump their shares. As for competition, Asana lacks significantly behind. Despite being started by ex-Facebook founder Dustin Moscovich, compared to Atlassian's Jira and Trello and Monday.com, its feature sets aren't that great. Plus the field they're in is so crowded. 
There are various team collaboration softwares and Asana's product is just another one. And so there's really nothing special about it other than some integrations it comes with. That being said, what do I think is going to happen to this stock? Well, in the short term, I believe it's going to do really good. Work from home stocks, as an example, Zoom has been doing really good. And, and obviously the market is having this crazy phase with tech stocks, but they're all soaring. So short term, I believe Asana could be a great play. And even I, in fact, might be looking to play this stock short term but long term which is the grand scheme of things I don't see this company as a great investment or even them becoming the top player in their field but as always make sure you do your own research and due diligence so let me know down below what you guys think and make sure you subscribe like the channel has been going crazy and trust me I've got a super juicy video coming up soon it's gonna be absolutely crazy so make sure you subscribe for that and Clocking out for now, take it easy. Peace.